Hello and welcome back to another incredible episode of MTD CNC North America. And today, guys, I got another treat for you. I'm with my buddy Rich. We're with Factory Wiz. We're in front of a Doosan, and we're going to learn a little bit more about what Factory Wiz can do for you, spindle uptime, machine analytics, and so much more. But I'm going to let Rich, who is the expert, explain that to you. So, Rich, thank you so much for being a part of MTD CNC. Oh, this is great. I'm so excited. Yeah, I can tell, man. And you just, your company, Factory Wiz, is just. It's desired and needed by so many companies, but we need to convey that message to help the a misunderstood part become more understood based on the testimonials that I'm hearing about Factory Wiz. So would you mind sharing a little bit more about what you guys do kind of from the ground up? Sure. So Factory Wiz is a tool for monitoring machine tools, first and foremost, but also it's a platform for shops to enable communication between their operators and other departments operators and each other, operators and supervisors, so they can get the information for what's happening down on the shop floor to the right person at the right time. So if I'm thinking simply, kind of a reduction of tribal knowledge and gathering information where everyone can look at the exact same data? Yeah, that, that's a good point. Everyone gets to look at the same benchmark, the same information, and things that slip by that maybe an operator knows and is really important but it never makes its way into documentation or never makes its way up to the supervisor level, those things get found and they get incorporated when you have eyes right on the equipment like we do. Yeah, and if I incorporated Factory Wiz into my facility, right, I'm understanding what's going on a bit more with my machines instead of guessing like a lot of people do, right? What are some of the key attributes that Factory Wiz does with machine monitoring that maybe we haven't seen in other places? Well, any machine monitoring system can tell you if the light is green or not, right? That's not the exciting part, we think. What really makes the difference is finding out why is the machine not running and how can you get rid of those reasons? How can you get the communication and the collaboration down on the shop floor to get something in and out of quality faster so the machine gets back to running? Uh, that's really where the exciting part is, I think. Beyond. The, the basic information from the machine, getting the people to add that little bit of spice onto it so that it, it really gives you the big picture. I think that's fair. I've also heard from other people, let's say, um, usually the ones on the shop floor doing the machining that, you know, it's, it's something looking at me and judging me all the time, right? But it's not about that. It's about bringing a group of people together to create a better work environment for everyone involved instead of, you know, maybe being worried that I need to keep a secret and, and redundantly making that same mistake and trying to hide it. And now we can go, look, we know it exists. Nobody's in trouble. Let's just fix it together. Oh, absolutely. I have heard that same comment many times. Obviously, I've been in hundreds of shops and operators have always said before the system goes in that they're concerned it's Big Brother or it's something that's going to be used to spy on me. And if you have management that thinks that way, there's no tool that really is going to make a difference. Uh, they're always going to think that way. But the truth is that once they actually start using it, they find that when you're telling, uh, when you're telling management the whole story for what's going on, you spend this many hours waiting for that tool or this many hours waiting for the quality check. Really, it's backing up the guys on the floor for the things that they've been saying anecdotally probably for years saying, here are the numbers that support what I've said. If we got another guy in the tool crib, or we had more assistance over here in the QA department, this is how much more I could run the machine, right? So it's not really about blame at all. It's about identification and looking for a way to fix the process. Yeah, I think that's important to convey. You know, a lot of us, and as a general human being, a lot of us fear change, right? We like to live in our comfort zone. We know what we know. and leaving that is a little bit difficult but there are so many great new tooling components whether it be you know programming software machines like the do sign we're standing in front of or tooling that's trying to keep up with the software and vice versa factory wiz is one of those components that goes into that to make companies better and should be looked at as a massive attribute and not something to fear right yeah i think it is actually the the missing link between many of those things that you mentioned uh, shops deploy these 
wonderful machines and they have incredible technology that helps them do their scheduling and um, keep track of their, their employees and the parts and the quality. But there isn't communication between those things until you have a system like FactoryWiz that actually knows how to plug in here and feed information to the ERP and accept information from the quality system. We help all of that gel together so it really works. Brother, I could not agree with that statement anymore. It's so true because there are so many different components, right? And we're trying to get into this turnkey situation where we can help customers. It's important, so incredibly important to have someone like Factory Wiz who can come in, who you can trust to implement and bring everything together like glue. But let me ask you a question. Now, from the outside looking in, if I have a 10,000 machines or 1,000 machines, it's very obvious to me I can't keep up with all of them, right? Mm -hmm. But is there a minimum size that you would recommend where people need to start looking into this type of software as well? As well? Is it five machines, two machines, 10 machines, 100 machines? Where do we sit in that range of when this really becomes important? Hmm. That's a good question. Different size shops have different needs. And we have customers who have as few as one machine, honestly, and they get something from it because they're running that machine lights out. And that one guy needs to be able to tell from home oh, the wire broken is EDM, or this machine is stopped, or there's a problem on the lathe over here. So even a very small shop can get a benefit, but it's a different equation for once you get above 15 or 20 machines, I think. For those shops, it becomes, I would say, essential. I couldn't imagine running a shop with 30 machines and not having some way for me to keep track of everything and identify those problems. It is more than I can look out my window and see uh, yeah, he's running, he's running. You, you've grown past that point, and you're really leaving a lot on the table if you're just trying to pencil it in or collect that manually. Yeah, I agree. And again, to me, there's, there's, you know, sometimes I come off, and the guys know this, as Captain Obvious, making Captain Obvious statements, right? So it's, it's an obvious thing to me. If I can't watch everything, then I need something to do it for me because there's no way I can keep up. It's obvious to me that if I have a hundred different pallet chain systems and I'm trying to run 24 seven, I need to understand how long that machine is down, why it's down, because I want it to run all day, all night lights out. To me, that makes sense. So I also like to convey to the guys who, the not so obvious, because it's also incredibly important to have, in my opinion, something like Factory Wiz out there, or Factory Wiz, because you guys have been doing this since the early 80s, 1982, I believe, back around tape. So we know that you guys have the wisdom and the years to be able to participate in multiple facets and multiple software from something like Fanic to the brothers, to the kit of mirrors, whether unique, the Akumas, you know, that kind of thing. So I guess long story short, you guys have been doing this a long time. There's some obvious reasons why people need it. But for those who don't find it so obvious, you know, the ones that are still manually loading, unloading their machines, it's not a lights out shop, it's maybe 20 machines, let's say. Where are some of the benefits in that type of a situation as well? Mm. There are many. So one example that I come across all the time is many shops have one guy running more than one machine. It happens all the time. And if you're running three machines, you can't be in front of this control panel the whole time watching it and keeping track of, okay, it's got 40 seconds left, I've got to be over here doing something. But with Factory Wiz, they can have a dashboard, either on a tablet mounted by the machine or on a television that shows them, here are your three machines, this one is almost done, you need to get back from your Swiss machine over there, back over to this mill because it's about ready for you to change parts. And we can even show them the progress and give them a time and say, you've got about five minutes left on this one, you've got time to go do something else. So that's something that comes up again and again, and it really helps the operator keep on top of things. Um, they, they can't be everywhere at once, so give them a tool that helps them out. That's, I think that's also very important to understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, because that is important and super helpful. This system also allows, if you have multiple machines and a few guys running multiple machines, where I can kind of ask for help for someone who might be free at a certain point of the day, right? Mm. How's that work? Yeah, so that's a feature that we are really seeing more customers roll out, and that's called the swarm feature in our system. So what would happen is, let's say that you're a guy, maybe you're only running one machine, but you need some help, and you have a department of other people who could step in and help you. Rather than framing it as, I'm monitoring one guy, one machine, and he needs to keep that machine running, 
step back and think about what sort of environment you want to promote in your shop. Usually what you want is you want the guys to work together. You want them to feel like they're on the same team and lending each other a hand is really helping everyone get to that goal, right? So what the Swarm feature does is it gives the operator a way to say, I'm going to press a button, I need some help with this, and it's going to show on the tablets of the other nearby operators who are in his group. If someone responds to that and says, okay, buddy, I'm going to help you out, I'll be over there in two minutes, that is recorded. And it's also something that you can, at the end of the month, say, hey, I see Jim has responded to 15 Swarm requests this month, and he has helped other people in his department. And it's a way for them to get recognition for doing that thing that you're trying to get everyone to, to participate in, for them to act like a team. And guys really love that. When you aren't picking one guy and looking at the statistics for one machine or one guy, if you're looking at it as a team, um, the operators love it, the shops love it, because it helps get the productivity up for the department at large. And I think it's a win-win. I do too. I like that a lot. Um, just so you know, guys, first time me hearing the full story of that, I like that a lot, Rich. Like, I really do, in the sense of, how many companies are out there right now, they have employee of the month, they're giving out gift cards, and if you have, oh, you responded to a help request for your colleague 20 times this month, you know, that's that's an added incentive. I'm just re-emphasizing what you say, but I really like it. So, we've talked a little bit about what Factory Wiz is, kind of what you do, started in the early 80s, lots of wisdom, we talked about all that. Now let's actually go into the details for someone who's now watched this entire thing and gone, well, that sounds interesting, but what am I actually monitoring? What am I actually, what data am I collecting? So let's go into the details of what Factory Wiz, the data they're collecting as a whole to bring back to the team to discuss. Yeah, so that's a good question. On the machine, we are able to tell when it's running or not running. We can see when there's a fault. We can see which programs are running and how many of those pieces have been made, how long each one took to be produced. So that's really the basics for productivity, right? You're gonna get enough time and you're gonna get your cycle times and that's where you start. And then from there, you can expand into, I'm going to have the operators tell me when the machine has stopped, why is it stopped? I'm going to have the operators tell the QA department when they're waiting for something. So that's the extra frosting on top of the information that comes out of the machine. But a modern machine like this right behind me, the Doosan, I could plug into here and have information coming out in five minutes and tell you everything that the machine knows if I wanted to. It is really that easy on the newer machines. Rich, if the guys out there are really excited about learning more about Factory Wiz, where can they find you? Websites, social sites, how can they get in touch? Factorywiz.com, that's the best way. That has links to all of the social sites as well. We're on LinkedIn, we do a lot of work there. Um, Twitter, at Factory Wiz. Um, those are the best ways to find us. Perfect. Factorywiz.com, guys. Give it a look. Amazing software, Rich. Thank you so much for sharing this with me and sharing with MTDCNC's global audience. Thank you, Tony.